My name is Almer Listo. I work as the global brand director at Starbase, and I'm also one of the producers on Overkill's The Walking Dead. So, explain what this video game experience is all about. So, what we got in store for you guys is some pretty cool. Uh, with the Project Star VR announcement, we chose to, we decided to uh, create uh, Overkill's The Walking Dead virtual reality experience. So, it's basically a four-minute uh, demo that you get to try out here at E3. And uh, the cool thing about it is that you play the part of the surgeon who has had to cut off his own limbs, his own legs, in order to survive a possible infection, right? And miraculously, it seems like you didn't get, you didn't turn, you didn't get infected. And uh, in the far distance, you see in the other side of the corridor, you see two other people talking about you. Uh, a man who is talking very negatively about you. He wants to leave you behind in classic The Walking Dead fashion. He says you're a burden now when you can't walk, we should get rid of you and just uh, go on on our own instead. The woman, however, she says that we should keep you, we should go, keep on going with you. And uh, what really saves you though is that you got some car keys to a workable car not far away. Uh, the, the problem though is that you have to traverse you know, from the vet clinic where you're at, where you did the operation, to the actual car itself and while you do that, a uh, couple of things happen on the way. I won't spoil the whole experience, but midway you're given a, a physical shotgun as well as a shotgun in-game. So when you're given the shotgun in-game, you're actually given a, a, a physical peripheral from us which tracks the movement in-game on how it works. How have you worked with Robert Kirkman on this experience? Robert Kirkman is, is uh, we're always communicating with Skybound and Robert uh, with anything we do over Kills the Walking Dead. He's very interested in what we're doing because there hasn't really been a great first person shooter for or, uh, for the Walking Dead uh, yet. And we're, we're happy, you know, to, to, uh, to take the competition and make sure we get something really awesome out there. When it comes to navigation, talk about the wheelchair because that gets around one of the issues some VR games have in that you don't feel natural when you're walking when you're actually sitting. Yeah, so uh, yeah, you bring up a really good point that in the experience we're, we're actually mim mimicking the, the character that you're playing. Uh, he's in a wheelchair and so are you in reality. And I, I would guess there's two reasons for that. One being that we're at E3 and space is limited, so we had to create an experience that would fit the environment. So that's also something that you have to keep in mind when you do virtual reality games. And the second thing is that we could focus on making a really cool rail shooter experience where you could just take in as a first experience, because for many people, this is their first time they try VR. So as a first experience, this is a very cool experience to have, because with the, with the field of view that you get with our headset, the 210 degrees, it really opens up you know, your peripheral vision. So you see the environments around you. And even though it's a vet clinic, but I mean, who's interested in a vet clinic? But in our engine, in the world, when you put that, uh, when you put the VR helmet on, you get so excited because there you see the lighting, you see how everything works, you see the other people, they're pulling your chair, the wheelchair, you see the water, you see blood on the walls and so on, so everything becomes very realistic suddenly.